The small town of Moscow, Idaho was rocked by a shocking murder case that left four University of Idaho students dead. The suspect, Brian Koberger, was arrested in December and has now been compared to one of America's most notorious serial killers, Ted Bundy. The resemblance between the two is not only in their physical appearance, but also in their behavior and interests. In this video, we will take a closer look at the eerie similarities between Brian Koberger and Ted Bundy. On November 13, 2022, Zana Kernadal, Kaylee Goncalves, Madison Mogan, and Ethan Chapin were found brutally murdered in their off-campus home. The investigation led to the arrest of Brian Koberger, who had a disturbing resemblance to Ted Bundy, as seen in his mugshot that was released to the public. Body language expert Patty would analyze the photo of Koberger entering the courtroom and said that his facial expression was uncannily identical to that of Ted Bundy. She explained that murderers like Bundy can freeze the lower third of their faces in order to mask their feelings making the upper face more honest and difficult to manage. Furthermore, similarities in their interests have been found. A Reddit post belonging to Koberger was discovered that showed him asking about how crimes are conducted, how victims were chosen, and how someone would leave a crime scene. This is eerily similar to Ted Bundy's behavior before he began his killing spree. In side-by-side -side comparisons of their social media posted mugshots, both males had comparable eyebrows and hairstyles, narrow lips, lanky cheekbones, and matching ears. Even Bundy's former lawyer, John Henry Brown, has said that there are many parallels between the Idaho crimes and those carried out by his client. While the reasons behind the Idaho killings are still unknown, the comparisons to Ted Bundy are undeniable and have raised many questions. The comparisons between Brian Koberger and Ted Bundy are not only in their physical appearance, but also in their behavior and interests. The case of the Idaho murders is still ongoing, and the investigation continues.